Well, you already know about the growing number of autonomous taxi companies that are out there. You got Waymo, you got Zooks, you got Tesla. They're the front runners right now. But there are lots more actually out there. And now there's one company that wants to put their autonomous vehicle in your garage. ABC 7 News South Bay reporter Dustin Dorsey checks out the new contender. Hello, world. I'm Tensor. Earth's first personal robocar. From the labs in San Jose to the streets of the South Bay, and soon available for purchase, a Gentech AI company, Tensor, unveiled the first autonomous vehicle that you can personally own. It is really uh, confirming that uh, Silicon Valley is still at the lead. Um, when when uh, companies in Silicon Valley think about something, they do it. They do it big. This car is built for autonomy, not simply an afterthought. There are more than 100 sensors on this vehicle, including cameras, radars, microphones, and ultrasonic sensors. You could take the wheel itself and drive it just like any other car. But when you're ready, AI expert Ahmed Banafa says you can sit back, relax, and let the car handle the travel for you. This car is built to be aut autonomous a robo car. It's not, uh, you know, a car, you have it and then you add uh, the equipment at the top of it, like Tesla, and then you convert it. No, uh, <laughs> they build it from scratch for this. There are six levels of automation for self-driving vehicles, from a level zero, a standard car, all the way up to a level five, a fully autonomous vehicle under all conditions. Teslas have level twos with occasional self-driving. Mercedes-Benz offers a limited self-driving car, a level three. Only Waymo had a level four, a fully self-driving car under certain conditions. But now the Tensor Robo car is the first and only level four available for purchase. Level four, which is the high automation. The high automation is with there's no human intervention needed within certain areas, city centers, uh, you know, shuttle routes, uh, you know, places where it's well defined. Places like here in the Bay Area, where you may see these cars on the road soon enough. Banafa says the price tag for this luxury car will be high, but it will be for sale in 2026. In San Jose, Dustin Dorsey, ABC 7 News.